Good morning, my lovely Pisces. How are you doing? Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to be here this morning to do your reading with you. And if you're here, I am glad to have you and that you woke up to see me. All right? And by the way, today is the best day of my life. The best day of my life. And tell yourself that, Pisces, that today is the best day of your life. Tell yourself that. Tell yourself that today is the day that you living it up. Okay? So, for all those who go to my web, this is my Black Magic Spellbreaker Candle. This is my Abundant Prosperity, Wealth, Fertility, and um, Health Candle. This is Love Yourself Candle. This is the Justice Candle. This is my Palo Santo and my Sage. I also, if you have a hard time lighting that Palo Santo up, I also sell it in chips, okay? Um, that you can, it burns quickly. It burns better. Um, this is my oils that come in dry form. This is my walnut bath that we all should have because everybody works on a... Um, Shadow side, these are my bracelets, my necklace, my jewelry that I make, my crystals and stones, my um, <clears throat> salt baths, uh, I mean salt scrub, and this is what I'm known for, is my salt baths, okay, and I also have herbs in a bag that you can boil, take a bath with, um, I also sell the um, <clears throat> red brick dust. Which is good for protection. Everything that I have in front of me is something that I use. Everything you see on my altar is mine. And I'm showing you a display of what I have in my altar. If you want other candles, I do have that. Just go on the web and read for what candle fits you. I do not make the candles until you order them. Okay, if anybody is... Um, want to have a reading done, interested in reading, they're $80, they're about an hour long, they're face-to-face -face reading. I do not do no email readings. You get your readings that day or the next day. I do not prolong nobody's readings because once the energy is gone, and I don't know how people do it, but I don't do that. I could never send anybody's reading through emails. That's not me. That's not what I do. But if people do it, that's their business. If you want your oils, you can get them also in dry form. You can put these oils in anything you like. When I mean anything, anything. Your bath water, the water that you cleanse your house with, while well, cleaning your house with, um, <clears throat> whatever you want. Okay, shampoo, conditioner, lotions. I put my oils in everything that I have or use around my house. I'm pretty big when it comes to my oils and what I do. Okay, and to each you have your own life and what you believe in and how you believe and what you do. That's on you. I don't knock nobody for what they believe in, how they believe in and whatever you say it is, okay, I'm just telling you what I do. And that's all I'm saying. Now, I'm going to ask Art Michael and Joan Art to come into the reading and allow me and help me do the reading. And let me see everything I need to see, okay, to do your reading. Okay, uh, everybody's orders went out. And today I will wake up this morning like I have, and I have readings to do this morning. Okay. A shout out to Alona Smith. She's been with me since day one. Since day one. You know, I got to see her, but she was supposed to go on my cruise, but... Things happen. She wound up not being able to get on a cruise, but I got to meet her. 
Sending you a shout out, Alona. What's popping, girlfriend? Alona is a cute. She has birds. She has parrots. And I have a big old hot, messy parrot. It is something else. All right, Pisces. Here we go. Spirits. Oh, oh, oh. Also, a shout out. Every time I put this one, I can't help but to think about Amber. A shout out to Amber. Amber, it, the weather is crazy here with that fire burning from, uh, uh, where, where is it? I don't know where. Canada? Oh, my allergies been really messed up. On top of being already messed up, it's more messed up. Justice will be served at the bottom of your car. Okay, you got a letter. You going, the, the universe is, is giving you this. Someone is going to make out fine with whatever you're going through. Jonah Art, Art Michael, tell me what I need to know. You got the Ace of Wands and the Three of Cups. The Ace of Wands is, a, this is a, listen to this. This pencil is like, is a tree and it got green, um, green written all over it. Um, it's red, it's got yellow, it's, it's blue, it's got, um, the pencil, like you're drawing, you're starting something new, you're being very creative, okay, um, it's, um, it says two and three, oh, shoot, so you got the ace of wands and the three of cups, Ace of Wands and the Three of Cups. Okay. And somebody here is celebrating like it ain't no damn tomorrow. Somebody here likes to drink, likes to party. You got creative and you are feeling this. The cups are what you love to do. Look at this. You like, you are, it's like, I don't know if somebody likes to go to, um, Likes to drink beer. I definitely see beer here. And somebody's party like it ain't no more with, with maybe after work you party or this. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, Excuse me, Pisces. Uh, Somebody here, I got somebody that did so so drink and really don't drink. Uh, somebody loves to drink, and somebody here loves to drink beer, right? Like to go to clubs, like to go to strip bars, like to hang out at bars, all right? Somebody loves to dance. I don't know. It looked like somebody's at a strip bar or somebody. But maybe this person goes out with friends after work, party after work. They look like they partying over something big over here. Um, The Ace of Wands. What is it talking to you about? The Ace of Wands. Okay. Uh, but somebody here is drawing. Somebody's putting a pen to the paper. Okay, a new project, creative, a growth. So you growing, you planting trees, you creating something that is going to grow. And you're going to be happy. Maybe you working with other people. Uh, maybe you got a business. Maybe you going out with your business partner, celebrating something that you're doing new. Maybe y'all opening a business with somebody else. Um, a promise of great enterprise. Okay. Um, creating goals lies ahead of you. The ace, 
represents a new beginning and potentials. Okay, be bold and and daring to to what you want to do and put into action. So it's something that you are going to be doing, creating, um, that you're going to be happy about. But the three of cups means when you are celebrating with your family, with your friends, about something new that you're doing, okay? You're celebrating with um, people you so call your family, people that you are close with. Um... And this could be anybody that, you know, that is happy for you and happy for the things that are going in your life. Now, I tell you all the time, I'm working on projects, but I do not tell what I'm doing because you cannot put everything out there because people don't want the best for you. So I keep my business to myself. Okay, but somebody here has people that are happy for what you are doing or how you're doing things. Okay, so you got the two of wands. And I'm telling you, you are putting things in order. Somebody look like they're traveling. Somebody's working on the computer here. Somebody may be traveling the world. Maybe you got the new job or your job or, or whatever it is that you're doing consists of you traveling the world or you um, doing this worldwide, okay? You got a list here that you're doing. You, you're looking at the map. Somebody look like they flying somewhere. Some, I see a passport, all right? I see a big old window. And I see global, like somebody is, it's like you're going to be known. Maybe you got a YouTube, maybe you got a podcast or um, something that makes you, that people see you around the world and you're going to be pretty huge. Maybe you're going to be celebrating with people that um, you're traveling with people. You're going somewhere at some you look like you traveling overseas. I don't know if you're taking a trip, a cruise, um, flying, visiting people, or actually moving somewhere. But I see a plan here that you making to travel. And I don't know, I guess, I don't know if you going there to celebrate something here. All right. Um, but I also see the king of cups. Somebody got a puppy. Um, somebody's into music, somebody makes music, somebody has a, a, a guitar or a, a, a makes, um, probably makes um, guitars, work in some type of shop, but this to me look like a promoter or somebody that is into radio, a, a radio announcer. Or like I say, or you got your own um, podcast. Uh, someone, someone definitely got a puppy here, and this puppy draws them insane like Lulu does me. Somebody says into music. Um, but a love music, loves music. You got somebody that's, maybe you want to meet this person in your travels, or you work with somebody that's laid back, um, don't like to be in confrontations, um, don't like um, chaos, but um, Mr. Loverboy is the king of cups. Mr. Loverboy loves his family. Mr. Lovely Boys loves his kids. Somebody might have a baby here. All right? Um, they, they are crazy about. Or they dogs that they like me and Lulu. Yeah. 
I don't believe Lulu is not here. Sitting on this altar, being baby. I mean, Lulu, you don't y'all don't understand, honey. Amber, look look at this. This is Lulu's. Lulu's. All right, like Amber don't play, honey. Amber knows. Amber said, you do it, Lulu do it. Okay? And Lulu plays a major, major, major part in my life. Here she comes. She hears her name, and here she is. All right? And when you look at somebody like this, let, let me tell y'all something. When y'all look at somebody like this, right? In the morning, in the morning, in the morning, Lulu, say hi to everybody. Lulu, say hi. Not to me, but say hi to the people that's watching. Okay, you want to say hi to mommy? You just woke up with mommy. When you see somebody like this, right? Look, then she's grown a lot because she she's been, oops, she just got done eating. She's grown a lot because Lulu's been sitting at this altar since she was born. Okay? I, I just love my Lulu. And, and her name is Lilo. Like, boom, super power. Okay? This looks like me and Lilo going to work together. Everywhere you see me, you see Lulu. Okay? Lulu gets into it with, uh, with, uh, with um, Jojo. So I can't put um, certain toys out because then Jojo gets aggressive. You know, he don't be playing. But if somebody had got a, pup, a, a puppy or a dog, that, that, honey, it, it, it's like the boss. The boss is at home. The boss takes over the bed. The boss takes over everything, right? And so, um, but if somebody here that uh, is going to be doing something, they got plans on traveling, okay, they like music, uh, they like to have a good time, Pisces. I got cups and wands here. That means you're being creative, you start something new, that you're going to be passionate about, and that you are, the cups are your emotions, the ones that what you do, what you want to be created, all right, is very is creativity. So whatever it is that you create, you're gonna be you're gonna have a lot. It's like you're gonna be happy with what you're doing and how you're doing this. And whatever it is you're going through, I'm gonna tell you something. Like they say, you got the love for your kids, but baby, 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 sometimes like uh, my dogs. If you go to my son's house, his wife know you better not make me pick over my dogs and you and my son do not play with his dogs. You can take my son anywhere you want with the with the meanest dog. And my son knows how to bring that dog down. All the way down. Okay? It's something that he, he must have got that from me, but it's something bigger when it comes to animals and my dog. He went to somebody's house. They had a uh, uh, a walk rounder. This damn dog is huge. They keep him in a cage. He was shaking up the cage and all. And the lady said, no, no, no. If I let him out, he's going to bite somebody. My son said, let him out. That dog came and kneeled next to my son. And his father was with him that day. And he couldn't believe it. Now, another thing I'm going to say to y'all, this looked like my son, his father, and, and his daughter. And I'm going to tell you something, because my son and his father got always a bond, all right? They, no matter what addiction my son's father was in, they always had a bond, always. He ain't never been out of my son's life, even in his addiction. All right, and today we, me and I, he, him and I are closer than we ever been. You know, I talk to him often, a lot more than I've ever talked to him in my life. And um, if I have a party, I invite him. If I have a cookout, I invite him. And I'm having more 
I entertain more in my yard these days than I ever done since I bought my house. All right. Uh, I love having family and friends that I really care about over. All right. But if somebody in this being very creative that's going to have a good time, I'm going to have a funky good time. Ow! I'm going to have a funky good time. Ow! I'm going to take you high. Yeah, God is saying I'm going to take you higher. Get the pin. Get the pen and start drawing and start writing whatever you want because I'm going to make it happen. And that's what God says. If you get the pen to the paper and you get the writing and drawing and you get what's in your mind into your hands, into the paper and start creating it, right? I will open up all the doors. It's like somebody's writing music. It's somebody drawing. Architect. Okay? Somebody opening a business. Somebody moving up in a business. All right? That, look at this beautiful ace. Look at the pen. Look at the colors, the orange and the yellow. And I cannot stop. Every time I look at that orange and that yellow, reminds me of... That sunflower that my mom said, put 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 it put it together and take one of them and keep it in your car. She said. That's what she told me yesterday. She said, "Baby girl, keep that in your car because what you want, you're gonna get." And God knows, I live for him. And he told me I would walk with a backpack. And that would be my goals and my riches, that backpack. And I would travel the world, and he said it. And there it is. I have a YouTube. There it is. I got people that follow me all over the world. There it is. And I preach to you every day, all day. You can do it by yourself. You can be the boss of your own company. Do you understand? If you want it bad enough, you can get it. And you don't need thousands of dollars to start it. It's no way that I had what I had with all that money because I didn't have nothing. I started with nothing. I didn't even know how to work this computer. But God chose me to do this work. And I know what people say. How people look at tarot. Okay? But God chose me to do it. So here I am. And God is the COE of me, my company, my YouTube, my life, my everything. And I'm going to live my life like it's the last day. And that is why I say every morning, thank you, Lord. And this is the best day of my life. Because it is. For all the reasons, it's the best day of my life. For all the reasons, good and bad, lessons, trials and tribulations, it's the best day of my life. Do you understand? My YouTube is about building you. And you better remember, when you sign up, and you be a subscriber to my YouTube, you're coming into a military. You're coming into boot camp. Let's see how you do with your own life. Because this is about building your own life. Choosing what you want and what you don't want. And nobody said boot camp would be easy. 
You choose to build you and work on you and only you. You don't think a point. You got to look at yourself. That's why it's called the walnut. Working with your shadow is the worst things in your life. Because you face it. You don't finger point it. You take it for all of you. You look at yourself in the mirror and then you ask yourself what part you played in your own life. It took me a long time to look at that. You know how many times how many times I said everything started when I was a child, five years old, when I went through that trauma in my life. My mother didn't know what I went through. But I said she should have been the one watching over me. But how can she watch over me when she had to go to work? And the people in my house are my brothers and sisters who she say, these are the ones that are going to take care of you while I go to work. You're not with strangers. You're with your family. Remember what I said. You're not with strangers. You're with your family. And your own families can, do, can be your worst enemy. And that's where your life starts. But you can't blame. We blame our mothers for the life that we live. My mother didn't know nothing about what happened to me. She died without knowing. I was five years old. I've been through a lot. And after that, my life was out of control. Okay? My life was out of control. So I had to face my darkest fears and do a lot of shadow work. And if somebody here that's got beautiful things coming to them, you need to be very creative and not be afraid to do what you want to do in your life. You know, a lot of us are moving up in our career, are moving up in companies, are building companies, are starting new. Maybe you, um, whatever it is, you putting that pen to that paper, you making it become reality. Because first it come out with your thoughts. Okay? Once you think about it, you dream, it's like you dreaming it and you thinking about it and then you put it into paper. Right? You start sketching it. You start Building this company or building whatever you want. I don't care what it is. Whether you say, I got a plan to buy a house. I got a plan to get this car. I got a plan to travel. I got a plan to whatever it is that you got a plan to do. is a vision board. And when you start creating that vision board. And you look at it and you say, that's what, I'm, that's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I will have. You speak it into reality, into existence. You celebrate it with people that love you. You travel the world, honey, because somebody is pretty big. And I don't know what you do, but honey, either you, 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 you play music, you are a producer, you, you play an instrument, you have a, a company to do instrument, you work in a big company that I don't know what kind of thing is going on. You're actor. You are actor. Maybe you are a singer of some type of celebrity. Or maybe you big in your business, in your company, or in somebody else's company, but you're pretty big. Okay? You work with people that want to teach you. You learn. Do you know how many people I know that had traveling companies that work in a casino and did uh, traveling uh, junkies where they brought people in a casino from all over on bus loads, all right, flights to come to Atlantic City Gamble and open up their own company? They took all these people that they knew that they did a job for. 
for it in the casino and wound up opening their own company. I know a lot of people that did that. Okay? A lot of people. I know a lot of bartenders that open up their own bars. And it's expensive to get a bar license. Very expensive. Okay? You can open up your own. Maybe somebody is a chef or cook. Have a, a restaurant. And I'll tell you if y'all only knew what I got. Opening. And I've been wanting to do this. For, when I tell you I've done this all my life. And I don't mean my YouTube. What I got a passion to do. And I tell you. It's that one thing. And that's all you got to do. One thing. One thing in your life. People think that you got to open up something. And have a lot of it. No. It's that one thing. That will make you rich and famous. One thing. That you want. That will make you rich and famous. Okay. And I don't care how many people do it. But it ain't nothing like you. Alright. I don't know why I'm stuck on that. On that right there. But I'm talking to somebody. Alright. It's one thing you're going to do that's going to make you. I'm going to say something. You can open up a stand. And sell hot dogs. And become famous for your hot dog. Cheese thing. Um. Pizza or um, uh, tacos or fish, just fish, right? Or just french fries in every style or baked potato. I'm trying to tell you some real shit, all right? And become famous. It don't have to be a whole lot. People think, oh, but you got to open up. And you don't need to have nobody's eyes. Oh, it's like you and McDonald's and Burger King looking at a whole bit. No, no, you can have... Or one solid thing on your menu and turn that one solid thing to many different things and become famous and rich. Do you understand? All right? Everybody has that dream. And thousands of people do the same thing. It's thousands of you doers out there. Billions of you doers. But it's only one Pisces studio. And can't nobody duplicate me. All right, I don't run a race with nobody. I'm in my own lane. All right, and like I always say, I always say this: there's thousands of tarot readers, billions of them, with many different styles. Cause everybody reads tarot in different styles. Do you understand what I'm telling you? But can't nobody duplicate me. Because what I do is on a whole nother level. You already see it. All right? You already see it. All right? They can't. I'm on another level. And so are they. But they can't touch me. And I can't touch them. All right? And that's what it is. They can't touch you and you can't touch them. You free yourself. Oh my God. Judgment. You judge and you've been judged by many. Look at you. Breaking free. Look at this. You got pictures. You got feathers. Pictures, feather, breaking free. And maybe you're going to find out something. That's going to break you free from everything. And you're ready to cut off and go on your own. Justice is karma here. You know, you burnt the ropes. Somebody burnt the ends of the rope. Maybe now you free yourself from being in a situation that you don't want to be in anymore. It's like, maybe you um breaking free from... Having a partner or being in in something with someone else and you just want to be out of it. All right. Maybe uh, it is that because judgment day is here. It's like you look at it's like a, somebody's looking at everything. Looking at somebody's life and look at everything but want to be. 
cut off from this life. Somebody is looking at it saying, I'm done with all of it. Right? Um, and again, and again, for this um, justice, judgment day, I'm sorry, judgment day, you get um, temperance, Sagittarius. You got two major cards here, but you got a lot of wands and cups. That means something here that you're creating, something that you have passion to do, but you're breaking free. It's like somebody here is breaking free from somebody. Somebody's breaking free from being with somebody they don't want to be. It's like they're looking at you, Pisces, and they want to break free from, I don't know if they're in a relationship, in a commitment, or tied up in some type of business that they don't want to be in. Okay? You got the temperance. You got an angel that watches you. Somebody is very spiritual. All right? When I look at the temperance, I think of somebody that everything is coming together. Somebody that didn't know what they wanted in their life. Somebody that was doing too much for one person or was doing living for someone else. Okay? Not having enough time for themselves. Doing too much of one particular thing for someone. It's like you live your life for one person. But that's not helping you. Okay? But you have an angel here that's guiding you and protecting you. Alright? Somebody here loves to drink tea. Somebody here um, loves to meditate. Maybe you're Reiki. Maybe you do Reiki. Maybe, um, you know, sunrise, you are ready to start working on your computer. But you're having your, your tea before you start. Which remind me, I'm drinking something I don't normally drink because I ran out of the tea. The ginger. I got to go get that ginger, fresh ginger. Somebody works in front of a computer all the time. And somebody looks like they need to break free of a situation that, it, that they're in. That is not serving them. All right? That is not serving them. That, that they're not happy with. Okay? And this could be anything and anybody. But it's definitely got to do with a job. Like, I, I don't want to be in this place. Or I don't want to be with... It's like somebody here... With all of this wants in these cups. Which is beautiful. Being creative. work, But somebody maybe somebody here don't want to... Work for who the partner was that they got to choose to be a part of their business. Or somebody here felt like, you know, they're going to free themselves from this. And other, let me tell you something. A lot of people have a vision. And a lot of people go into business. It's like, it's like this. You could be, and I said it. I don't know why I said that. Somebody here could have been working with a major company. With a major company. And took all their clientele and built their own company. And they built it with somebody else that they worked with, right? But now they see maybe I made the biggest mistake opening a business with somebody that not only that you you want, you know, you thought it would do a, be a good job or a good idea. But you, maybe you wanted more than just to open up a business with a person. Maybe you wanted this person, you had a thing for this person, but it didn't turn out to be how you wanted it. So now it's like you free yourself from this because you feel like you're the one doing all the work. But it's somebody here that, that, that I just look at it like you built a company, all right? And you have a good time. Well, you thought you was having a good time with this person when you was all working in the same company or whatever y'all doing. Or whoever this person is, they like to party, party, party. But you the one that's the brainstorm of the business. All right? It's like, I don't know if you work at a bar. 
But it's like you the one that makes this whatever business move. But you went into business or you working with somebody here that you thought that would be a good idea for you, but it's not. It, it didn't turn out the way you thought it would turn out. As a business partner, as whatever you wanted it to be. It seems like you're doing all the work. I see somebody in front of a computer all the time. I don't know if you sell real estate. I don't know if you travel an agent. I don't know if you, whatever it is, or you are, um, you work at a bar, but whoever I'm talking to does all the work for whoever they work. It's like you do too much work. You do, when I, when I tell you too much, too much. Tell me more about this three of cups. Tell me more about this three of cups. The hermit. You, you looking at everything that was built, that you work at, whatever it is, working with these people, okay, um, but you looking at it with a star in this lamp, it's like you, you standing above looking at everything, everything for what it is now. It don't, it don't look like there's no more partying. It don't make you feel like it did when you was working in this company now that you're on your own. It, it don't feel the same. It don't, <clears throat> you, you, I don't care, but it's look like you work around. It's like you want to build your own company, but you work in, in a bar or in a strip club or somewhere where they drink a lot. All right. But you're looking at everything from above. And maybe this is telling you to stop drinking, stop partying, or look at it in a different way. <clears throat> it's like you're sitting up, somebody's going into hermit mode, and somebody's looking at everything for what it is. You know, it's starting to make sense to you. <clears throat> this ain't no party, and this ain't what I thought it was. All right? You know, you got to be more careful on who you choose um, to be a part of your team or what you built it. Or you can be building for someone else. You can be working your ass off for someone else. Like, people don't stick around with jobs like that. I know I work one and that was horrible. They be in their bed sleeping while I'm there killing myself while they making their money. You know, it's like it, it could be something here, there. Something just don't, it's like you overworking yourself for someone else, all right? Tell me more about this King of Cup. And I feel like it's a choice you got to make here. There's choices that's coming into your life that you're going to have to make about a situation, all right? The seven, and you and I said choices. You got the two of wands, the King of Cup, about a person here, all right? With the seven of cups. Every choice ain't a good choice. Some of these people got masks on. Some of them got snake. Alright. But it's a lot of choices. That you are going to have to make. Alright. Maybe it's between another person. Alright. But it's time for you to make a choice. Maybe it's somebody from a different country. Maybe you sit here. Uh. Dating on a web, but you better be careful who you dating on the web. Maybe this person is different from you, a different nationality. Maybe you partners with a person from a Chinese or Japanese or African or, you know, uh, Indian or, uh, but it's somebody from a different nationality that you go into business with that. You better take a good choice and pick what is right for you. All right? All right? Because everything you think it is, it ain't. But I guess it took you to get into it to see it for what it is. All right? Mm. And I don't know what it is, but somebody is breaking free from this. Somebody's burning their... It's like they're burning something. Burning something. Something here is burning. Is breaking you free from it. Alright. I don't know if you just woke up and said. This ain't what I thought it was. This whole thing. 
was good over there, but once I got over here, it ain't what I thought it was. You got the Queen of Wands, honey, you full of yellow. That sunflower, who Jesus? That sunflower is there. That sunflower is telling you, you need to, I don't know if you need to break free from a Sagittarius. I don't know if you need to break free from a Libra. But it's something here that you feel like, I don't know what it is. But it looks like you need to break free. Libra, Sagittarius, a big on this and Virgo. Big. You got a lot of wands. And you got a lot of cups. Wands and cups are deep in your reading. So Gemini, Libra, I mean, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, or Aries, Sagittarius, or Libra is big in your reading. Leo can be pretty big. Um, uh, um, pretty big here. So I feel like somebody here needs to be careful with these signs. And that's some real shit. Okay. Um, Leo, uh, I'm going to say something to you. I feel like you got, uh, here is, you got Leo Sagittarius, um, and Aries, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer is big as fuck in your reading, and Virgo, okay? So if you're dealing with anybody of those people there, there's something that is about you and this person. And it show you as the Queen of Wands. This is like the Beyonce, like, you know, but you got that sunflower, which is telling you you are the light. It's like, honey, I don't know. You got somebody by the dick, if I can say. Did you break and free from? But you can pick anybody you want. It's like you looking at something from higher above. And you can pick anybody you want. But you got somebody by the balls here. Okay? That you shine. But it's telling you. you it's something that you need to break free from. Out of, from a family. From a family. From a job. From a business. Um... But it shows big as day, fire and fire and uh, water, fire and water, fire and water, big as hell here. It ain't number five. It's something a business or something that you creating, or is somebody traveling from a different country, or somebody you meeting, or a mute. It's something here. I don't know if you're a, a, a singer, a dancer. Um, have your own business. I don't know, but whatever it is, whatever you thought, it ain't what it is. So you got to be careful of what you're doing, who you're meeting, how you're meeting them, or, you know, breaking loose from a third party. Um, I don't know, Pisces, but bar, being in a bar, be careful, you know. It's, I just feel like somebody here is cutting ties. All right? Tell me more about this hermit. Tell me more about this hermit. Tell me more. Somebody is leaving. And this is a fast-moving energy. Somebody is trying to decide, should I leave or should I stay? Should I leave or should I stay? Should I leave or should I stay? Um, Why I keep looking behind me? Why am I looking at the past? I need to move forward. This is the fastest moving energy in a deck of cards, okay? A cancer is showing up again, I'm trying to tell you. Look at this, the two of cups, Pisces, Scorpio, or cancer. This reader's definitely got to be with fire and water. Should I leave or should I stay? Should I leave or should I stay? 
about the two of cups. The two of cups is a marriage, uh, a, a relationship. Um, but it seems like you're the one that's giving. You're doing a lot here. You shouldn't be the one doing a lot. It should be them. You shouldn't do all this work for y'all to toast to something when you're doing all the work. Okay? Again, you giving them a fish. Okay? Uh, you're celebrating the wealth because if somebody had, I feel like they're living off of you. All right? You're doing all the work. But should I leave or should I stay? But you in that hermit mode. It's like you just don't want to be bothered. But you seeing them for what for what it is. But you, either you, is something in the past and it's something that's coming to you. But it seems like don't give too much of yourself. Look at you. You giving them the fish. Okay. You giving them what they want. Whether it's your P-U-S-S-Y. Or you putting a lot more into it than they are. And I don't think you should do that. Should I leave or should I stay? Look at this. Should I leave or should I stay? The two of pentacles. Again, making a choice. Should I leave or should I stay? Uh, you got a lot of twos here. Should I leave or should I stay? Should I leave or should I stay? I got many options. The two of wands. You got two, two, two. Come on now, Pisces. Should I leave or should I stay? Okay. Should I leave? And look, somebody's trying to take that money. Is somebody here that's, that you're doing too much for and they want from you? It's like, whatever it is, somebody needs you because you are giving them what they want. Whether it's your private part or whether it's both your money and your um, love or whatever it is. You may be dealing with, um, I don't know, Pisces, but should I leave or should I stay? But you putting too much money out and this person, it's like you leaving a village to go into a castle. But should I leave or should I stay? And whatever it is that you're leaving behind, you need to leave it behind because you putting too much into it. Are you gaining from it? Because you're killing yourself putting too much into it. Alright? And it's not worth it. Alright? Should I leave or should I stay? I will get the hell out of there. Okay? Tell me more about this queen of wands. It's showing you. I don't see no king. All I see is a queen. And a queen is holding all this together. Okay? You the one that's holding it all together. Alright? It's all about you here. Tell me more about this queen. Tell me more about this queen. Should I leave or should I stay? Oh my God. Tell me more about this queen. Tell me more. Lord. What the hell's going on? Alright, this one came out. The star. One foot in and one foot out. Oh, she's all in. Shit. Excuse me. I'm sorry. And the fish is there. And the cat's there. Remember this. Remember this. The cat was giving. Pisces was giving the fish to someone else right here. Check this out. In this card, the same cat. Right? Got that fish. Wishing all in. Wishing for you. As above, so below. Hot and cold. All right, I, Aquarius. I want you, but I'm hot. one minute I do, one minute I don't. I don't know what I want, but I'm wishing for you. You are my star, but I don't know. Looking down at the water, looking at their own shadow. Well, all the stars they got billions to choose from. What are you, one of they billions? Or is it you making the choice of the billion stars that you got? That you wanted, that you wishing for? But you breaking free. Should I leave or should I stay? It's what you need to ask yourself. Is all of this worth it? Is, is everything that I'm in right now worth it? Alright, because there's a reason. 
And I'm going to say something to you. This is crazy that I'm going to say this before I finish this reading. You could have been in a predicament that you were so in love with somebody. But that person that you were so in love with wasn't like left you or did you wrong, right? And then you're going to meet somebody else. And that person is giving you everything you want. Right? They may not be the richest person in the world, but they treat you good. Right? If something happened, they put you first. But you don't even see that person like that because that's not what you want. But they there for what, what you need. It's not what you want. It's what I need. So, you don't, you're not in love with a person, but that person is there to help you to where you need to be. And they may not be everything that you want. But they there for what you need. Alright? And that's the difference between I'm in love and this is what I don't want. But it's there. It's what I need. And so when you're in a situation like that, it's kind of crazy because the person you really loved and wanted to be with is the one that now you said, I can't see you or want to be with you. Because you got somebody that you're not even in love with. But it's what you need. Oh my God. Shit. Should I leave or should I stay? What the fuck? Alright. And that's some real shit. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it. But that's the way it is. Pisces. Should I leave or should I stay? You already have both worlds. Alright. But the world that you leave in is the world that you admire. The one that you love. The one that dogged you. The one that you gave many chances to. The one that left you, the one that said, fuck you. You do what I tell you to do. It was like they was your pimp. It's like they was controlling you. And now you got somebody that doesn't control you because they know better. You better not because you can't. Right? Because I'm not even going to allow you. Because I'm not in love with you at all. I'm not in love with you at all. You're here to serve a purpose. And that's all you're here for. It ain't no... Going to bed with you. It ain't none of that. You here to serve a purpose. And that's what you here for. And because you're not in love with them. And you're not having sex with them or nothing. But they there. This person loves you more than you will ever love them. And you're not even in love with them. You don't even care for them like that. They just there serving a purpose. And maybe at one time. You had something going on with them. Sexual. But not no more. But they just there in the picture. Serving a purpose. So now you become the person that did you wrong. And, and, and the person that you was with the person that you was in love with. That's the person you have. It's like y'all switch shoes. Okay. And so now is should I go or should I stay? Even though what you got is going to benefit you that you don't even love. That you ain't even going to bed with. So that's really the issue with that and why right? That you're comfortable and you're good because you know that that person, if you make a phone call, they're going to jump on it. If you want something, they're going to be there. If you need something, they're there. Compared to you working hard for somebody that never loved you. That, that just used you and abused you mentally, physically, and emotionally. It's a difference. It's two different things. And that is called, it's not what I want, it's what I need. Right? It's not what I want, it's what I need. And that's the choice you got, you facing. Should I leave or should I stay? Should I leave or should I stay for all the reasons that I said? Okay? Pisces, have a good day. If you need a reading, get it from me or someone else. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.